Depending on your model of RV, there are a few different ways in which to fill the onboard fresh water tank. Some have separate potable water inlets that you can connect a hose to, while others have gravity fill spouts that allow you to fill the tank from either a hose or a bucket. Some models, however, share one inlet for both connecting to a pressurized outside source of water and for filling the tank. In this case, the water panel will contain valves that allow you to control which operation you are performing. In this case, turn the control valves to the tank fill position. Water can now be added directly to the tank by turning on the outside source of water. As a note of caution when filling the water tank, it is advisable to turn off the water when the monitor panel shows full to avoid overfilling the tank. If you see water coming out of the vent hoses, the tank has been overfilled and may create a siphon effect, which could continue to drain the water out of the tank. When the tank is full, replace the water fill cap. And, if equipped with this style of water panel, turn the control valves to the system use position. Now, when using water from the fresh water tank, the system must be pressurized. A self-priming 12-volt DC pump is provided to handle this function. A pump on-off switch is located on the monitor panel. The self-contained water pump is a demand system. This means the water pump will automatically turn on when a demand is made on the system. For the initial startup of the water system, follow these easy steps. Be sure the tank is filled with water. Now, open all the faucets in the recreational vehicle, both hot and cold. Place the pump control switch in the on position. Allow some time for the hot water tank to fill. Okay, now shut off each faucet as the flow becomes steady and free of air. When the last faucet is turned off, the pump should also shut off and the system is now ready for use.